I didn't take down a tree today. A tree took me down to inland sea, the heave of waves and crown, a Norway maple wanting all the sky, the skeletal limbs of roots breaking soil, wanting all the earth, the old chlorophyll and magnesium of October leaves dying into burnt yellow and pumpkin lobe, flamboyant, treason to grey-white sorrow up where vultures ache for prey. And the smallest me without defences can see the blue inside past the frontier and the black after that forbidding such song. That crack between the fissured bark of branches, indifferent to a soft revolt I never expected, but stirred for at the aging trunk, a tension in all the atoms moving me towards water, sighing at its limits, pushing down on long sandy shore, gently dooned in silica flower, recycled with what we all soon become, a dervish turn to other, a biting wind reaching the other side of lake, a sparkle of mica, a rainstorm, a seed of grass split open to damp, or a slow curdling of cream in the tree's vault. These clouds are not made for me, are not full for the empty glare, arriving with burst of teasing sun to pour their crystal into my waiting pale on deserted beach. I still won't crawl into them, with grit between my weathered toes heavy there, and in my odd eyes not looking for necromancer conjuring life, Above the ark we all together live under. This should just be enough. Where currents of fear get taken out to the liquid rim. Below cumulus and stratus. Fattening their bellies on berry sky. These clouds don't stop the ring-billed gulls angling hard in gusts with feathered tine dipped in black towards the polar mash, spiked through by beams of light reflecting silver ore, gray fox, and cobalt blue, streaked asphalt feeding in their wet falls the horizon where wide caverns of paler talc open up for short refuge of cirrus spiral into the secret blank living in bones, shadowed below giant nursery of dust and vapor converted to luster at skin's edge, moving northwest wind, occluding a star. <laughs> 